After 10 years of hard work for the Chenghua 5, we mainly relied on our own strength to achieve our goals. But throughout this process, there was indeed a lot of cooperation with foreign countries. For example, our measurement and control, such as ESA's deep space measurements, have played a very important supporting role for us. And through international cooperation, we've also established relatively long-term relationships with some related countries and research institutions. For the study of lunar soil, we've announced we're welcoming research units to apply so they can study the moon's soil through different methods and means. As the global space community is eagerly anticipating China's future lunar missions, what can we expect from these upcoming missions? Our Chenghua 6, as the backup of Chenghua 5, will expand its application scenarios after the success of Chenghua 5. We're going to land on the far side of the moon around 2024. At the same time, there's also international scientific equipment, such as radon detectors from France, negative ion detectors from Sweden, laser reflectors from Italy, and small cube satellites from Pakistan. It means that we've expanded our capabilities. These research institutions can participate in China's lunar exploration project and play more of a role. As I just said, we're exploring the universe together and exploring the unknown to enhance our abilities and understanding.